You bet your damn asses I know about I grew up with. I put it in all my videos now to fuck with you. <laughs> See, I grew up in a very mixed race environment. I grew up with, I grew up with. <laughs> I had tons of friends of color. Fuck with you. <laughs> I got a Donnie Darko review coming out soon in a couple hours. I did not grow up with that. I saw it for the first time as a teenager. I got to see it last night at the Nightlight Theater in Akron, and today it's one of my all-time favorite movies. Fuck with you. <laughs> Annabelle creation is... And let's talk about Rotten Tomatoes just a little bit. Uh, there's a weird thing where for about two weeks before... The movie came out, it sat at 100%, 16 reviews, and they were all positive, and that was the only reviews. And then it was like a second embargo lifted, and immediately that started to drop. Yeah. But for two straight weeks, bam, 100%. But we were wondering why there would be an embargo on some reviews and not others. <laughs> Um, but really, the, I haven't seen too many movies that were screened for select critics and then allowed their reviews to be posted. So this is a weird and unique and unprecedented situation where there's just these handful of reviews for several weeks before the movie comes out that just so happen to all be positive. It's weird and it's suspect and we don't have any answers. It's just something that we noticed. So especially with the Sandbell Creation review, a lot of those, and I tried to avoid reviews before we talk about the movies, but... So really, yeah, it's not, it's not the most accurate tool. It's it, still, it's not certified fresh, it, but it's red. Yeah. And it's like 68%, which in school is, is a D plus. <laughs> I'm gonna give Annabelle Creation a B plus. Fuck with you. <laughs> Get stuck my eyes. Get Fuck stuck with you. <laughs> I grew up with, I grew up with. Fuck with you.